What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another awesome video. Thank you so much for everyone who's been leaving me comments on the last three videos. You guys have been awesome and for everybody else who's been sending me messages on Instagram, you guys also rock. You're making this whole experience a lot of fun. I do apologize in advance if I can't respond to your messages too quickly. I, every time I wake up every morning, I have about 20 or 30 messages that I gotta get back. So if I don't respond right away, I definitely will get to you eventually. So I love it, keep it coming and keep sending me. So today's video was supposed to be part two of the CRBE, which is a Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo that we hosted here in Toronto. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get extra footage on Sunday because a couple of the guys wanted to go to Niagara Falls, like Justin Kibilka, Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons, Brian Barchik, and they needed an extra set of wheels. So I, of course, volunteered to take them. So I wasn't able to get the footage that I wanted to create a second video, but what I did get the day before was some awesome video of Justin Kabilka's speech up on stage when he came up and talked to the crowd about the reptile industry. At the end of this video, I'm gonna try to condense it and try to pick out some of the awesome parts. But before we get into that, I just wanna show you guys some awesome cool snakes, which is the next project that I decided to get into. So that project happens to be the freeway. Now, what freeway does is absolutely incredible. When I started seeing some of the freeway combinations that Billy Rose was producing here at Mutation Creations, let me tell you, I instantly fell in love and I wanted to get myself in the game so it's all started with this beautiful girl right here this girl happens to be a super pastel leopard ivory possible fire now this is an absolute powerhouse female of combinations of many genes that are going to be so awesome in the freeway project especially when you start adding stuff in like leopard it has such a radical effect on the pattern and it really disrupts it and just makes some awesome cool freeway combination so she's definitely gonna be an exciting part of my project. So the second female that I brought is this awesome beauty right here. So this happens to be just a pastel leopard ivory. She is missing the super version of the pastel gene and she's also missing that possible fire, but nevertheless, pastel and leopard are still gonna create some amazing combinations in this project. Now, the amazing part about this girl is when I bought her from Justin, I actually thought she was closer to 500 grams because that's what he had listed on his website. Now, when she arrived and I unboxed her, I realized, holy cow, she is actually huge. So right now she's sitting at around 900 grams or so. Actually, you know what? I think she's closer to a thousand now and what a surprise that was. So Justin, if you're watching this video, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. It's that much closer to me getting some production out of her and hopefully she produces this year. Now, when we talk about freeway, it's very important to understand how is it we make freeways. So to create a freeway snake, you need a copy of the yellow belly gene and you need a copy of the asphalt gene. If you were to breed a yellow belly snake to an asphalt snake, you would have one in four chances of hitting a freeways. So for me, in order to increase my odds, I decided to play with the super versions. In this particular case, the ivory is a super version of the yellow belly gene. The reason why super is important is because when you have a super version of the gene, it means that every single hatchling will carry at the very least the yellow belly gene. So my goal is to actually produce all freeways by combining the ivory, which is the super yellow belly, to a super asphalt. That means that every single baby that I produce will all be freeway. If you were to take an ivory snake and breed it to an asphalt, you would have a one in two chances of hitting a freeway. If you were to breed a yellow belly, which is the non-super version to an asphalt, you would have one in four chances. So we're just talking about increasing odds here. Best odds is when both parents are supers, all the hatchlings have all the genes you need and just create. So enough talk about genetics. Let's check out some really cool versions of freeways that Billy has at this facility that I'm hoping one day to be able to produce myself. So one of my favorite freeway combinations that's currently in this facility right now is this absolutely stunning girl right here. So this happens to be a super pastel orange dream freeway. And the camera doesn't do a very good job of picking up the color and patterns, but man, look how absolutely beautiful this snake is. You've got some bright yellows, the orange dream orange coming in. We got a lot of pattern disruption on the snake and it just really shows you what you can do with these combinations. The next snake that I wanna show you guys is another one of my favorites. And this happens to be a possible super orange dream Enchi freeway and pastel as well. Check this girl out. 
I mean, what a gorgeous snake. You've got some beautiful yellows and orange coming through. Again, that head pattern is really nice. A lot of pattern disruption, and it just shows you some of the cool combinations of freeways that exist out there. And let me tell you, there is a lot of really interesting freeways at this facility. What do you say we check out some more? Now this girl is actually in shed, so I didn't really want to show her off, but you know what? Even in shed, she is still a beautiful freeway. So this one happens to be a pastel leopard freeway. Now this is primarily the reason why I decided to go with the uh, pastel leopard ivories is because I really like the amazing pattern disruption that leopard creates in the freeway projects. And this is just an awesome example of what it is. Now, like I said, she is in shed and she's definitely a lot more vibrant without her shedding, but still an absolutely beautiful version of the snake. So both of my ivory girls will have chances of producing snakes that are very similar to this girl. We've got some beautiful pattern there and I'm just in love with that. So this girl is actually just lacking the leopard gene, but she is a pastel freeway and you can see just how beautiful she is. So just by removing that leopard gene, instead of having that really busy pattern disruption, we get to more of the traditional barred lines that are uh, broken on the top of her back. But regardless, really beautiful snake. I'm absolutely in love with her. Doesn't matter if she has leopard or not, it's still a beautiful animal. So another amazing freeway that Billy Rose and Mutation Creations hit this year happens to be the Champagne Freeway. I mean, look how beautiful this girl is. She is also in shed, but you can still see how gorgeous she is. I mean, she's got a beautiful yellow striped line right down her back, that awesome white nose, and that beautiful gray pattern on the side. And it just shows you how much variety there is in the freeway jeans. Now, of course, when you start working with freeways, we can show off a traditional freeway that doesn't actually have any other jeans except for the asphalt and the yellow belly, which happens to be this girl right here. So this is what we call a more traditional freeway where you've got the nice uh, broken lines down the back that resemble lines on a road which is why they're called freeway in the first place. And even without all those extra genes like Orange Dream, Leopard and Pastel, it is still a beautiful snake. Doesn't matter if it's only got two genes or 10 genes or five genes, they are all beautiful. And this is a perfect example of what a traditional freeway looks like without any other added genes. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that little sneak peek on the freeway game. All of those freeway snakes that I, that I showed you guys belong to Billy Rose and Mutation Creations Canada. So make sure you check out his channel on YouTube as well as his Instagram page. I'll have links in the description below. He's got some awesome freeway combinations and these are all snakes that I really hope that I can produce sometime near in the future. So Justin, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for sending me that pastel leopard ivory which happened to be double the weight of what I was actually expecting. Really nice surprise, I appreciate it. I wanna thank all you guys for watching this video. Please leave me a comment down in the description about any future content you guys would like to see. And also let me know how did I do on this video. I really like to get everybody's criticism so I can improve and do better on the next videos going forward. And lastly, before I actually let you guys go, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit those post notifications on, and also make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on what's going on. Now, before I finish today's video, I just wanna leave you guys on the awesome footage that I got from Justin Kabilka's speech at the show last weekend. He had a nice segment where he came up on stage, talked about the reptile industry, some of his business ideas and all that stuff. So I'm gonna close the video out today with that footage. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, I completely, completely agree. Um, there's not been one year that the market has not been crashing, right? And um, the reality is, is that, is that the interest is real, right? The animals are real, and it just keeps getting better. It keeps getting more, more complex, more intense, and there's. Every year I'm more excited than I was. Every year the business grows, every year it's a little better. And every year I see more people excited. So tell me what part of that is not, is not growth. It's, ama it's amazing. So, okay, so I just wanna take it back to social media because I think we're, we go, and thank you, Brian. I 100% agree with these guys. Um, so socials are, are really interesting because they have expanded the market like crazy, you know, and when it, it's, 
it used to be, I was talking about this when I talked a little bit ago, it used to be you had to go to a certain little place on the internet, a forum that nobody knew of, kingsnake.com, um, and that was the only way you got exposure to some of the, this, to this industry, or you had to go to a show, but that was just a tiniest little sliver, um, and through social media we've seen this grow and grow and grow, and and through Brian's channel and and all different ways we've seen that the market is massive and as people have been exposed to these animals amazing things happen it's really the animals right but getting getting the, the ability to get the animals in front of the people one way or another and socials has given us an amazing amazing ability to do that it's, it's transformational yeah a hobby has just absolutely exploded and I want to thank Brian Bartek for that to, to an extent, right? Um, I want to thank Petco for that. Because I always knew, I always said when, when Pides got into Petco, it's a whole nother world at that point. Because literally, Pides were the thing that really got me. Pides are in Petco, yes. Yeah, it, when, when that happened, I remember when I saw my first Pied, that's what lit my brain on fire for ball pythons. It really did. Um, and especially when I saw the price, it was like, you know. But now we have literally thousands and thousands of people on a weekly basis who get the chance to see these animals. And it has just brought the, the potential um, of what is possible into the minds of so many more people than ever before. Um, but the really, the, kind of the name of it all now is being able to connect with those people, right? In some way, connect, and that's where marketing comes in, and that's where some of these these things like my things like my friend Miguel here, who, who many of you know, has done extremely well because he's found a way to actually connect with this giant group of people that exist out there that don't know all the things about our industry. They don't know what forums to look on. They don't know what groups to go on, go to, but they do love snakes. They just don't know where to look. Right? They don't know how to connect.